E10 and A2. Okay. Just give me a second while I look for the parts. E10 and A2. Okay, well, yeah, this was A2. And now we're looking for E. E10. This is all the skin parts, by the way. There's like her, uh, there's like her thigh and her buttocks. <laughs> Mm, Estarella, by the way, happy belated birthday. You said you got this for your birthday, so I'm assuming it passed. Yeah, it was um, it was in February. I bought this. I bought this like a few months ago. Um, it was a model that I had seen reviews for on YouTube, and I was like, wow, I didn't even know. <laughs> that sounds creepy. Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to state this right off the bat before we get further into this model. But there's something inherently creepy about making this model because it's a uh, yeah it's like a a girl and she's she has like plastic parts for her model parts for her butt and her boobs and stuff. I'm sorry, it's it's just something that's gonna come with the territory with making this model. I don't know how to make it not sound creepy. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, scissors. Yeah, it's a human. It's not like a mecha or a, or an animal. I yeah. So I saw some reviews for this, uh, and I was just like, man, I didn't even know that they made models like this. I know that they made like robot girl models, you know, with like all this armor and stuff, and she's got like uh, she has like big, huge swords and axes and guns. And I was like, those are pretty cool, but that's not what I'm like. I don't know, I wasn't really looking at those models, like, I wasn't very interested in them. And then I saw that they made, like, models of normal humans, and I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. Like, I'm, I'll, I'll say right now, I, I would definitely consider buying a model kit of a dude, too. Like, just a normal person, like a human guy. <laughs> so, yeah. But they, thus far, they haven't really made one, so, unfortunately, I'm kind of left high and dry in that department. Bacon, I want a real human. Yeah, I want a real tiny human waifu. <laughs> uh, Estarella is just so funny to hear out of context. Yep, it definitely is. And, and yep, there'll probably be more awkward comments like that. I'll try to, uh, I'll, I'm going to attempt to be very, like, uh, normal about this, about going about building this. We'll see how far I get. Uh, Estarella, I didn't know they made models like this too. It's cool. It, uh, it's cool. Yeah, there's there's a couple of them. Estarella, make it as creepy as possible. Yeah, that uh, that can be done too. That's definitely within the realm of possibility. I'm not. Uh, I feel like I can definitely get creepy. <laughs> uh, funny stuff. Okay, and now this is like uh, her jaw. You can see that there's her ear. And like her lower jaw. This is also a rather creepy, unusual part about building these models is that phase where you're sort of building the face, and you know you're basically you're basically just looking at like like a cyborg with like their skin ripped off, and you just have like eyeballs poking out. Like there's not this model kit in particular, but the one that I had built previously. We kind of. I kind of got to that point and I was like, ugh, this is weird. Because like her eyeballs were underneath the face plate. So you had to get, there was this phase where it was just like these big vacant eyeballs that were just staring at my soul. And then you put the face plate over it. It was, I was like, oh boy, can we get this stage over with? <laughs> We're gonna try and do a few more steps here, but but yeah, I, I, I'm not predicting that I'm going to be able to do all that much today. And as I said, I'm going to try and do a bit of this off stream as well. But yeah, I'll definitely do a bit on stream. I'll kinda, kinda wanna do both. Okay, I think that's okay. Let's check the chat. Bacon, just embrace it. Yeah, just embrace it. The dark side. The creepy side. <laughs> Goro. Human. Humans are so perverse. 
they make their women wear clothes. That's a, for people that don't know, that's a, uh, that's a Star Trek reference. <laughs> Some people might not understand, but yeah, that's Star Trek. The Ferengi. Goro here is a is a big uh, Star Trek fan, as am I. I enjoy Star Trek. I haven't watched any of the latest Star Trek shows, though, to be honest. Not the not the most recent seasons of it. I'm behind. And I don't know when I'll ever get around to watching some of the new Trek. Because it kind of bums me out. In a way. Alright, I think we're ready for the next part. We've kind of cleaned up the parts just a bit. Okay, and let's see. How does this go? We always have to pay attention to the orientation of these parts. And I think this just goes... Oh, you know what? I should probably get my, uh, there was some patch notes. We have to get the patch notes for this kit. It's like a video game, right? They put patch notes. I think we're at that step right now. Yeah, so they want us to, so what they're saying here is that the original instructions here say that you attach this portion onto these lower pegs, right? But the actual correct instructions have you plugging in to the higher portion of the model here. Not the lower pegs, but the upper pegs. So we'll have to keep that in mind. We'll have to see about not making that error. And these parts just go like this. So yeah, I'm not planning on painting this model. Um, at least that's, the, that's what I'm thinking presently right now but we'll see we shall see so yeah I think it's just gonna go like this I feel like I feel like without even without the patch notes it would have kind of become pretty obvious how to how this fits but I don't know mistakes can be made So, Bacon, can you tell me something about building these Kotobukiya kits? I've, I've heard many people say that that there's a matter of of kind of filing down parts to ensure that they fit better. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Because I definitely want to ensure that I'm not going to make a mistake. Does that, is that, that's mostly relating to the, to the, the ball joints. Am I correct in saying that? Kentuan, what is up, Kentuan? Bacon, especially when you have to rip out their torso or chest to change out the the costumes or parts. Kentuan, how was Elden Ring yesterday? El Elden Ring was good. I ended up getting a couple of wins. It wasn't all doom and gloom. The only thing we need to worry need to file down are the ball joints. So so how much do I shave off though? How much would I need to shave off of them balls? <laughs> There's another creepy point. Ding! Creepy. Shave them balls. All right. I think the patch notes can be dealt away, dealt with. Uh, we've we've addressed that, so that's done. Now we need A5 and A4. Here we are. A5 and A4. This is four, so let's put four here so we know that that's four. And then we'll put five beside it. That's something that I've kind of made the mistake of sometimes is I've cut out the pieces and then I'm like, wait, what was A5 and what was A4? Okay, there we go. Okay, so this, is, this frame is done. We've successfully dealt with this... So that's nice. Uh, bacon, you have to go by field. Try pulling. 
try pulling the balls in. <laughs> oh no. You got me, man. You got me good with that. Try pulling. Here, here's some. Here's some eyeballs. Have some eyeballs for you for that. <laughs> try putting the balls in and see how tight the fit is. <laughs> I can't even read that straight. Kentuan, I'm questioning myself if I want the PS5 for 700 without the stand and box it comes with. I mean, who needs the stand and box, dude? If you can get it for that much, and if you're in your opinion that you think that's a deal, go for it. Bacon is sorry. Got some balls, some eyeballs in the chat. I think I might have to make some sweaty eyeball emotes now. Sweaty eyeballs. Epo de sweaty eyeballs. Epo de. Hmm. Tight, tight balls. <laughs> Actually, by the way, um, Estarella was here earlier. I think she might be uh, lurking now, but I was uh, talking to her about about making my uh, thinking and kind of waffling on my. Uh, on my emotes and she was she gave me some helpful advice just generally about uh, about what you can do and and i was like oh okay well you know well, i'm gonna work on them really soon and i did and that's they're the ones right there the uh the eyeballs that's the first one of them oh there's there's Estrella just poking at she's a artist herself by the way guys if you want to check out her art really great artist she streams like drawing really cool Oh crap! I forgot which was uh, which was, which was A five and A four already. Uh, this seems right to me. Oh no. Which one is which? They almost seem like they could fit either way. Uh, no, that doesn't seem right. I think this is the way it goes. So when it comes to the to the joint, the ball joints, I definitely will probably do that online just so I can get some uh, advice from from Bacon regarding uh, the tightness of the balls, the ball tightness, how shaved should the ball. I'm sorry, I'm just you guys. <laughs> I'm just going off. That is just ball talk, just ball talk, guys. 